Next, from Dakota First News. Its future is in question, but now there's a new problem with the Meridian Bridge. Can there be such a thing as a vaccine that will stop cancer in its tracks? Find out in tonight's Health Watch. And our lead story tonight, Mitchell Police investigating a large-scale case of alleged animal neglect. These stories and more next. Dakota First News starts right now. KSFY's Dakota First News Weekend. Animal feces throughout the house. Uh, there was a very strong odor inside the house. And good evening from Dakota First News. It is an odor the neighbors couldn't ignore, so they got the police involved. What they found looked like the largest animal neglect case in Mitchell history. Tonight, KSFY's Jennifer Hayes has the story. Looks like a peaceful neighborhood, but police say there's been a growing problem for two years. To put it this way, the uh, personnel who cleaned out the, took the animals out and that, had to have uh, the SCBA self-contained breathing apparatus while working inside there because the smell was so strong. 19 cats and two dogs had to be removed from this home. Officials say it was too unsanitary and a health hazard. When authorities came to this house to serve their search warrant, what they found was more than they had imagined. They could smell the odors brewing from inside, clearly outside here on the sidewalk. Animal feces cover much of the inside of the house. One concern is feline leukemia, a contagious disease among cats, not right spread to people. But there is another side to this story. 73-year-old Lois Martin says her two jobs sometimes made it hard for her to keep the area clean. Stuff they feel that those, some of those were, had a number of different ailments. I don't know, I'm not a doctor. But they're very playful and oh, I, I wouldn't think that myself but then. Lois says her cats are everything to her it's so beautiful I call her a star the one eye just bursts out with all these beautiful white marks and the other side is jet black and I just call her a star for, just like a star in the night sky she wants them all back she says she would try harder next time if she gets that chance I'm sorry for that that was shouldn't have happened but other than that why I feel like I've been doing a good job for him. In the meantime, traps remain outside, ready to catch loose cats. It looks like the sly ones will survive for now. Jennifer Hayes, Dakota First News. Now, the confiscated animals are in quarantine. Some animals were euthanized. No criminal charges have been filed against Lois Martin. This is the second case of alleged major animal neglect that authorities have looked into in just five weeks' time. The last one happened May 5th right here in Sioux Falls. Animal Control says one house contained 30 birds, dogs, cats, fish, and rabbits. They say the house was filthy with animal waste. Two children were living in the house at the time. And now, meteorologist Aaron Lindman with Dakota First Weather. And good afternoon, everybody. Things were looking pretty good earlier this morning, and then we had some showers and thunderstorms develop over the southern part of North Dakota, and they moved into north, central, south Dakota, creating a couple severe thunderstorm warnings. If you take a look at the current radar, you can kind of see exactly where...